Portar la armadura de un caballero del Zodiaco y defender a Atena ha sido el sueño de muchos. Y ahora, gracias a Sony Pictures, podremos vivirlo a través de Pegaso y compañía en esta adaptación a la pantalla grande con un bang. Did any of you guys were aware of the franchise before working in the movie? <laughs> I don't, neither of us were familiar with it actually. But, uh, you know, as soon as we signed on, we did a bunch of research, found out that it never really hit in the United States, but did everywhere else in the entire world. But, uh, we were aware of the impact that anime had in La Cultura, especially for myself, mm -hmm. right, being Latino, growing up with Dragon Ball Z. This is a huge deal, arguably, one of the greatest uh, animes ever created. Right? We're really feeling the pressure now how big of an anime this really is. Madison, how would you describe the premise of the movie to someone that knows nothing about the Knights of the Zodiac? I think I think <laughs> in this, the simplest way, our story follows a young boy, Seiya, who is in search of his abducted sister when he accidentally taps into these hidden powers and discovers his true destiny, which is to protect the goddess Athena. A whole generation of Latin Americans just grew up loving the Knights. What can fans expect of this adaptation? Okay, <clears throat> well, I, I know they can expect to find lots of action, humor, fantasy, inspiration, and lots of dynamic relationships. We really honor the original anime, but every character has a message. Every character has a, a moral or a lesson to learn from. You know, we really plug that into the script and, and into our performances, and we hope you guys love it as much as we love making it. Thought you were the only knight in town.